Hi guys, it is Xavier GD here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a scrolling background in Scratch. And it's going to be easy. So the first thing you want to do is you want to delete the cat sprite. And then you can upload a sprite of a background or whatever. I'll just upload one to me. I'm just going to choose a geometry dash background. And I'm going to rename this sprite background. And we'll set to X and Y position. And I'm going to edit the size. Okay, so I just edited the size. So we're going to put a one green flag clicked. Oh, sorry. My uh my mouse is just acting up today. It's just my mouse. Okay, so anyways, we're going to put a one green flag clicked statement. And we're going to make a new variable called scrollx and delete the my variable and under one green flag clicked we're gonna set scrollx to zero and then we're gonna create clone of myself and we're gonna put a forever loop we will change scroll x by negative five. Oh. And we're going to put an if and then statement. So before we do this, x represents how far you are from here to there. So let's check the x position of it. So, for other sprites, some of the current X position is negative 240 or 240, so we're going to check if scroll X is less than twice the number of the left position of the X. So, two times will be negative 480. <clears throat> oh. If scroll X is less than negative 480, then we will set scroll X to 480. So let's test that out. You see that? So the maximum is negative 480 and then after that it will start at 480. And for the X and Y position we're going to get a go to X Y block underneath the if then statement. So we're going to go to X scroll X mod negative 480 and y is 0 so let's test that out so you see it's moving but the clone moves after the sprite moves so to do that we're gonna put a when I start as a clone block and we'll duplicate this this code huh. sorry guys my mouse is just acting up for some reason okay so anyways we're going to get rid of the create clone of myself walk 
and we will set scroll x to 480 and instead of scroll x mod negative 480 we're going to do scroll x mod 480 and let's test that out aha we got a scrolling background and the last thing you want to do is you can hide the scroll x variable and we've got a moving background thank you for watching guys i hope you liked that video make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you in the next one bye